Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Money in the Law, My FM 101.3 and Hollison Hub, Hollison yeah. Cable Access TV, yep. HCAT. Uh, I'm your host, John Drohan from Main Effort Financial. Cool I'm host. joined by my, I'm joined by my, uh, the other host and the probably more prominent and Co-host. definitely, definitely better dressed host for those yeah. of you watching well, you on know. TV today, my- the one and only. Jay Marsden from the Marsden Law Group at uh, 847 Washington Street, right in downtown Holliston, Massachusetts. Yes. And we are Money and the Law. Uh, Money and the Law in our 12th season, uh, talking to you about anything that you wanted to know about and the law with respect to, sure. in particular, with things uh, respect to estate planning. That's kind of our, that's kind of our wheel. I say our because although I'm not a lawyer, I often You've been say, around one long enough. I often say yep. I'm on one, I'm, I play one on TV. Yeah, yeah. When you're, when you're, uh, what do they call it? When you're, when you're, what would this be? Your association. When your yeah. internship goes on as long as yours has. It's more. It's by osmosis, you're almost there. It's more of an apprenticeship. You're almost yeah, there. It's like, if I, if I were to go to law, ever go yes. to law school, yes. which I, you know, which I highly my, recommend to in, anybody. In my in my next life, I would do. Yes. In my next yes. life, I would do. I would go to law. even if I didn't want to be a lawyer. I would just want to go to law school just so I could I could talk law. Right? It is fun. I could, it I is fun. Talk, I could learn it is the fun. law. Yeah, there's a little bit of work, but it's fun. It's uh, fun. So so speaking of lawyers, how are you doing? My, the world's greatest lawyer. I'm doing the world's <laughs> okayest lawyer, as I like to say. Okay. I'm doing great. Things are doing. Everybody, everybody's great. Everything is good. It's if you're listening to this, it's Saturdays after Memorial Day. We are in. So you're summer. We're in the zone. Yep. We're in the zone. It's we're in the zone. Yep. It's it's the it's the season that we all live for. Um, and uh, well, at least I live for. I don't know everybody else feels about it, but I live for it. It's my favorite time of year. And uh, yeah, we got the gun went off last weekend, and uh, and I feel like I caught the bullet. I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> one went off. I might, I might have taken a few, right? I definitely nothing, took a couple of rounds. Lethal, but yeah. There was some incoming yeah. fire. I took a little bit. Yep, yep. But uh, it was all good, all good. Um, and uh, right before the break, or right before we came into the show, uh, Ray and I were talking about uh, the newest hip hop be- happening be- spot. Be- be- before in we get into that, yeah. I wanted to. I want to talk that. That's 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 number one on on today's agenda. I love it. I love it. Uh, uh, of course, we are joined by none other than Tom Harmon. Tom, Tom on the bag. Tom, Tom <laughs> Harmon. Yeah. Yeah. Tom, Tom say, Tom say, when you're when you're reaching for your seven iron, he's shaking his head, say, no, oh, no, 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 you need five. No, yeah. no you oh, need no. way more. Than that. <laughs> yeah, you need way, you need way more club than way that, my friend. Way more than that, kid. Yeah, I appreciate where your head's at. But so, let's not, so let's Tom get... is uh, Tom also a summer guy because Tom is our he is our pro, our professional amateur golfer. Yes, he is. Uh, as yeah. part of the yeah. uh, as part of the money law production. Yeah. So Tom. Of course, is always he, Tom's sponsored by Taylor Made today. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yep, not a sponsor yeah, of the show. Could be. Not, not they a could sponsor, be. But he's a sponsor of Tom. Yeah, right? that's right. Well, for all the right reasons. For all yeah. the right reasons. When he when he comes in fourth in the U.S. Open. Yep, that's right. With one eye closed. <laughs> hey, yep. who's this guy? Yep, that's right. That's so right. Uh, Tom, of course, uh, is from Hollison Cable. I said the Hollison Hub, which is uh, the the official launch, is coming. So nice. I think all right. so we're talking about it. Um, soft launch. It's a soft launch, right? Yeah. Now. Well, well, you know what? The, yeah, let me. And I'm just gonna. Say the launch is coming from right here. The launch is coming yeah. Why from sure. Money in the Law, yeah. and you know, let's say it out loud. And you know, Tom knows it. He doesn't like to say it too much because he doesn't like bragging around the studio. But when I'm sitting in those Age Cat board meetings, it comes up like, okay, so what are the shows? And I'm like, well, there's wow. this show, there's that show, and then there's the shows that are on the cutting edge, which is Money in the Law. Sure, absolutely. Right. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah. Tom's shaking his head. Absolutely, yes. He's he's shaking his head like, yeah, like the sun's coming like, up. We know it. Like, yeah, of course, we know yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. The sky is blue. All right, so um, talk to me about talk to me about the double tree because we reviewed this yesterday. We need to review this for, so, for all you listeners. I'm not we, a sponsor. We actually we actually practiced this. They yeah. could they could be a sponsor, which could be trouble. They they um, could be a sponsor, and they we could, could do a show there. I you took the words right out of yes. Me. So so Ray and I were chit chatting last week about you know as we as we're want to do because we we run time. and gun in the same you know in the same uh, social <laughs> confines if you will the same social confines. constructs Wait, that are built I was around say, town. I don't know if there's anything confining about, about our, our social, social skills. Yeah. So so we were talking about places to go because we're both uh, live music lovers as you are and a performer like you and Ray are, and so we were talking about where would you go, what could you do, and Ray. He's got like all these tricks up his sleeve, right? So he, he does. He's he, good because he's all dialed in, right? Because he's he's, at, he's, he's here the at guy. 101.3. He's the guy, right? right? This is it, he's right? Here. The, he's Larry Local, right? Yeah, he's yeah. got it all. So he reveals. To, it was like it's like a secret. It's like the, it's like a, like an Indiana Jones movie, right? He pulls out <laughs> the the old beat up map that's got all weather, and he's like, guys, 
there was a I mean, se- there's a secret place right. that that we just that just came into being. Right, he does it. Yep. he does it. He does it. And it's like, yeah, I'm this regular map. It's not here. But if you turn it over, you hold yeah, the map right, up exactly. to a light. Right now, exactly. it's like that. You know, it's like a Nicolas Cage movie. <laughs> and he's like, guys, it, over in the in the double tree, right on Beaver Street there. There's like this secret space in the back that no, it, you almost don't even know it's there. You gotta look around a little bit. You gotta poke your head in a couple There's of different doorways. There's no signs gonna take you there. There's right, one yeah. sign that you don't pick up on. You just see the sign. You're like, oh yeah, whatever. It's patio. Whatever. Yeah, it just says patio, something, right? Yeah. It just says something. Well, lo and behold, <laughs> the powers that be over at the Double Tree went out of their way to create this little. I mean. It's an I don't oasis. know. Is it Nirvana? It's an is oasis. It, is it an oasis? I it's think a it's an oasis, oasis, right? Exactly. They took this space in the back that was kind of like in between a couple of buildings, so it has this kind of enclosed alcovey Garden of Eden type of feel to uh-huh. it, right? Excellent. Yeah. And they put in at one end of this beautifully manicured open space a bar. At the other end, they put in <laughs> Which Jay, a stage. Jay doesn't even know what's at the other right? end. <laughs> they put a st- my two favorite things, a bar and a stage in this one space. And then they set up, you know, they got um, cornhole, they got Adirondack chairs, they got fire tables with actual fire at them all, that you could sit there all around. All symbols of summer. Right? <laughs> all exactly right. It's mm-hmm. like just, it's like summer just showed up and grew out of the ground. And then they have a ton of live music is the is the is the is and the word the thing. because a guy that you and I both know is working the booking over there and he's pretty uh, pretty getting out of it to book that stuff. So for anybody who has not um, traveled over to that just that general direction, put it on your to do list. I mean nothing on the double tree, right? So the double tree is what it is, right? So it's a it's great a hotel, spot, great it's space. It's a hotel in Milford, Massachusetts. Sure. So yeah. so people aren't coming here from Florida to come up. You know what I mean? That's right. It's a it's a corporate hotel. It's yeah. a place where people go. You know, and you know if you need to some place to stay, it's like nice, comfortable hotel. Cruising by, you'd say to yourself, here on business, I'm staying at the double tree. Yeah. Here for a wedding, I'm staying at the double yeah. tree. You they, just cruise they have by a restaurant, right? right? They, they yep. have the Legends restaurant. Yep. They get a sports bar that has its own yep. has its own vibe to so, it. Yep. So yep. It, it it is what it is, right? It's not it's not like a Disney resort. It's yep. like a, it's the DoubleTree Hotel in Milford, Massachusetts. However, th- it's th- this thing. This it's almost like it's out of place. Like it's like it, it's they they put this little gem of a thing inside this corporate hotel. And like hey, and and you mentioned it. You said or was it? It might have been Ray. They said so. Yeah, so, oh, the hotel, like when Ray was there, he said, the hotel must be really, really packed tonight. And he's like, no, 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 these are all local people. Yeah. These are all MILF. No one's, these aren't people staying no at the, stay at the hotel. hotel. Not yet, at no. least. Not till later. But, <laughs> not, but at that That's time, no. At that bit, time, right, no. Right. But, but until 1130. Yeah. But Ray, Ray and I were talking about it, and I said, so I bumped at a couple friends, and they were talking about getting together for a, a beverage. And I said, you know what? I heard about this great place. We should go check it out, right? <laughs> So I cruise over there, right? Because, you know, I just like to see what's going on. I can know what's happening in my neighborhood. So I cruise over literally, there. literally, it's practically in your It is. My, I meet the GM who could not have been nicer. And, and he's telling me all about the stuff that they did. And I'm looking around. And so I was joking with Ray earlier. And I said, I'm sitting at my table and I'm waiting for a couple of buddies to show up. And people are coming through the door, yeah. right? And they're coming into this space. And you remember the look on the kids' faces when they used to I come do. downstairs at I Christmas do. time? I got pictures of right? it. Yeah. Right? Okay. Well, that's what everybody, every, everybody came yeah. downstairs for Christmas yeah. and comes walking into the back. And they're like, whoa. wait, the what, the <laughs> whoa, the what, where, yeah. whoa, where, yeah. what is going on here? <laughs> and, and again, if you didn't, if you weren't looking for it, you'd almost cruise right by yeah. it. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. So you can't see it from the road, right? No, and you can't hear it from the road either because they get it all it's all perfectly appointed. So for anybody who is listening to the show and who is saying to themselves, hmm, what can we do tonight? I, I'm just it doesn't have to be tonight. It doesn't have to be tomorrow night, okay? But do yourself a favor, put it on your list. You will not be disappointed. We got some food, the food was really good. It was it was it was a, it was a lights out night. So uh, I, I wrote this down. Um, we are gonna make a, a, a hard press to get a show there, I, but this, 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 why not? Why I wouldn't think we? we can make a hard press to get a show there. Maybe we do our maybe we do our show on a, I don't know a Friday afternoon, even like a Wednesday afternoon, right? That'd be, oh, that'd be fantastic. There we go. Yep. All right, so, All right. so uh, we're so going to work on that. Stay tuned. Stay for tuned for that. But in the meantime, in the meantime, just so you know where you want to sit when you come to see the show, go over, check it out, yeah. 
and 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 say hi to everybody and at over that there. Point, oh, we may, there, there also may be music involved, right? Be, there there may be, be some music involved. 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 Save this, yeah. Yep. That's right. For those of you, yep. that was an actual, was a real guitar. Maybe that's what we'll do. Radio, yep. Maybe that's what there might be. But anyway, but anyway, I digress. I digress. I'm not digressing. Yeah. You're so progressing. Yeah, yeah, that's your that's your thing right there. So so put it on your list. Put it on your list. Right. You'll and, be, you won't be disappointed. And it's and it's a great it's a great kind of segue into what we're going to talk about today. Fire away. You know what we're going to talk about today? We're going to talk about change. I love it. We're going to talk about change. We're talking about change, uh, change in your organization, change in kind of the way you approach things. Change. And we've always used to say this in the army. And one of the one of the nice things about the army is that it, it just kind of forces change. So sure. your, you know, and your normal duty rotation is you're at a place sometimes three, maybe four years tops, right? Rarely is anybody in a, at, a, at a location th more than three or four years. So it's almost like you just have this perpetual change. You have like the, the new commanders come in, new soldiers come in, and you have this like, there's always this rotation of people. And that, and, and that was like the, the, the army thing. It was like the, the sure. change is good because it's always, you know, even if you have like a really great commander, a really great unit, Unit, you got to change it. You got to you yeah. got to add. You got to yeah. so so this whole thing that the DoubleTree did, right? This they kind of like it, they're like, hey, you know, we have this cool corporate hotel with a nice sports bar. Let's do something. Let's do something a little bit different, kind of post COVID. Yeah. Because what do people like to do? They like to go outside. As soon as the weather gets they nice. Like, yeah. They like to hear live music, right? Because for because during COVID, what didn't we have? We didn't have live music, right? And and, and now like with the, you know with all your like you know your streaming services, you can get so caught up and stuck yes. in front of your screens that you kind of miss out on that like that social interaction and that you know the ability to like go to some place that's nice. And so there you go. They make that change, and we're going to talk about. How uh, how making some changes not only in, you know particularly like in your business but like in your business model sure. or uh, kind of in your practice or even in the way you approach like your finances or even the way you approach like your you know your you know kind of your management of your your estate and your in your personal life there's if you make some changes things could change things, is good things change could good. be good all right. all right we'll be back we'll be right. back in two seconds right well it won't be two seconds but it'll, it'll be several like it. several seconds uh, listen to a few of these spots they're they're important to listen to but then stay where you are and come right back because money in the law has got some important things to talk about we'll be back we'll be right back and we're back money in the law my fm 101.3 j mars with the mars law group john drohan main after financial tom on the bag and uh we're just sitting here uh, rolling through some change Rolling with the changes Down in the words, change. in, in, the, in, the, in the words of the great journey. Yep. Rolling with the changes. Yep. yep. And uh, you know, going through some stuff here. We just talked about uh, some changes they made locally to the uh, some, social fabric, social footprint here we, in the greater Milford area. And our heart and the money in law hard pressed to become to get an official sponsor or to well, be. We or figure to be if we the, talk about them long enough, they will reach the, out to us and call the us. The official. To come in. It's the official radio show of the Delo Train. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. You know, we came in. They didn't charge us for the drink, so we, we assumed they were on the house. <laughs> That's, right. That's right. Yeah. 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 The bartender never yeah. charged for the yeah so yep. we figure that the band is yep free i like to write the check out while i'm sitting in the car in the dash on the glove on the those glove of you who uh, for those who are picking up on that uh, blues brothers reference god bless you because again one of the greatest <laughs> movies of all time uh all right so we're talking about change we're talking about about how you know sometimes or, or i shouldn't say sometimes that it, it's good to be in a in a position where you you want to make change. You you want to change things. You want sure. to update. I mean, and maybe change might be a strong word sometimes, but like update or or relook things or be able to yeah, recalibrate. Or, exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And uh, and and you did this right. You did this in your practice, right? You you know, not too long ago, you you kind of you know, you made this commitment to say, you know what, I'm gonna. I'm going to kind of dive in, and you, you you started working with this group, and and said I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to update my practice. I'm going to make yeah. some changes in my practice, and and here you are, and you know the, you know I don't know how many years, probably a couple of three years out of this, three thing. four years in with yep. these guys, and so now I it's funny I, I every once in a while I go out and I hang around with friends of mine who are also practicing attorneys, and they're on they're on their path, right? And their path is you know they want they either want to be a a solo or they want to run a practice, and some of them will say to me, you know, I, 10 years ago I might have done what you're doing right now. It's a good thing you're doing, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to help you out. But that is a constant evaluation. It's, it's a constant part of the evaluation that we go through at the law firm to change what we're doing because it, nothing is constant. We have people, we have turnover in the, in the different positions that we have, and we need to be, you know, you need, people don't, clients don't want to see that. They want to see that there's a continu continuity to it. So you can have change. Change is good, but you need to have the, 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 the backdrop in place so that the change is the positive change that you want. Yeah, and, and, you, and you've seen it, right? You see it, like, and that's a good point because your clients, right, you, you know, like people like, they, they like, like 
the continuum, right? People, especially like your, they, they like the comfort of knowing that, oh yeah, Jay's always going to be there. He's always going to be, if I need something, if I have a question, I can always call him. And, and that's, those are the kind of things that doesn't, that don't change, you know, like you, sure. you know, that kind of, you know, that, the, that client service or the, or your attention to detail with your clients. It's more of though, like your, you know, and this is one of the things that I've noticed, like when, like in your practice, is just kind of, kind of the way you approach things, you know, like you say, okay, because you think about it, you know, we always feel like I'm the smartest guy that I, you know, I, I'm doing the best that I can, sure. right? Well, I'm working with all that I have, and I'm like, this, this is as good as it's going to get, but, but oftentimes you don't like, you don't, you know, you kind of get kind of stuck in that tunnel, and right. you don't get that 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 different perspective. So when you started to work with this group and say, and they were like, they kind of they put some ideas, say, hey, what if you approached it this way? What if you managed your time differently than you than you have in the past? Like, what if you committed to say, okay, instead of yeah, I understand that marketing is important. I understand that like getting my name out there is important, but you know what? I have so many other things to do, but these guys, and I know I'm just saying this from an example, these guys, they say, oh no, no, here's, this is, this is important. And this is why it's important. And this is why it's important. And then they translate it back to why it's important for your existing clients. Why? Well, well, why it's important for existing clients and why it's important for you as the business owner to be able to come in and say, look, you need to change who you are to make these changes happen in your practice, with your clients, to change the client experience, to constantly improve on that. You know, those are the things that you you don't, it's not a static situation, right? At, when I was at Fidelity for a million years, they would talk about this concept of called Kaizen, constant, ever-improving change, right? And, and, and always hopefully change for the better. You learn from the mistakes, and then you do things differently, and you, you, know, and you run your business, or you run your estate plan, or you run your financial plan, differently, right? Because it's not going to be static. It's not the same. And you think about, and you think about how a, how a company, you know, like, and you, you see these examples where, you know, people like, well, we're changing just for the sake of changing. And I, and I think that's kind of, there's, a, there's a bit of a gray area with that where people say, well, let's just change for the sake of changing. And, and in some respects, that's not, that's not the worst thing in the world. Now, no. now I, 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 but I, but then you kind of go to the other old age old adage, if it isn't broken, don't fix it. Right. right. So, I, I think that there's, and that's kind of where that the term of updating. So yeah, if 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 your client service model works right and your clients are happy, and you you know you you get the the feeling or you get the you take a survey that your clients are happy with with your business sure. with kind of the the way you provide service for your clients, that's great. But the idea of you know, there's going to be something like after a while, there's going to be like this kind of this just kind of perpetual and and, it, and it's easy for, for people like us or people like, you know, people like especially service people to fall into that trap of where you're just like it kind of becomes too mundane and you kind of start taking it for granted. Right. Oh, it and becomes it, super routine. And then you and you almost be it's not that you're intentionally getting lazy, but the routine yeah. causes you to become a little bit complacent. It enables you yes. to become complacent. That's right. right? That's so, right. So that that enabling of oh yeah, this is uh, this is what we've always done. It's not requiring you to kind of be on your toes. It's not requiring you to to kind of think outside the box. So this is why when you and it doesn't they don't have to be dramatic changes, right? It no. doesn't have to be like oh now instead of you know now we're going to see clients you know 15 times a year instead of three you know like it's nothing like that. But it's it's like it's subtle things. You right. know, let's say, okay, right. so maybe, you know, and for an example, one of the things that we that we started to do in our practice, and again, it's not it's not that big a deal, right? But especially kind of in the age of technology, in the age of communication, in the age of like kind of people managing their time, it's always, you know, the, the, the old, you know, kind of cold call, phone call, right? Sure. Those things, yeah. they, they don't happen anymore. And they, and, and when they do, it's, it's weird. It's like, it's like, a, it's like you have a... You know, it's like it's almost like an emergency, or it's like there's something. It, it, it puts people. It puts people in like, wait a minute, why are you calling me? Ah, I don't. I don't have time. Right, I, right. I I have to. It's an inter, It's it's such a big interruption, and people are so used to like not being interrupted, like they have been in the past. With like now you can text, now you can email, now you can message. You know those type of things. So the whole idea of of kind of being able to speak to somebody, but not to kind of put them in a position of kind of defensive or like oh you know like there's something up. Is we started like we we'd send an email. We'd say, "Hey, listen, I, I'm going to call you." And you and we don't. It's not like I'm 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 expect to call. I just want to say hi. So they kind of get this. They they know what's coming, but they right. they also kind of know that's ah, it's no big deal. I just want to call. I just want to hear your voice, right? And you know, for clients, 
you know, and these, you know, again, this is not something that you just arbitrarily, you know, these are clients that we want to talk to, that we right. want to connect. We just want to make sure they're, that they're, you know, they're kind of where we think they are. But something as simple as that, that's, that's a change in what we've done in the past. Sure. You know? yeah. And, and, and again, it, does it, is it a, is it a, is it a game changing thing where like, we're, you know, it's changing our whole like way we manage our clients? No, but, but. You see the client again. It all kind of feeds back into this is what we're trying to do. Is we're trying to you know make the client experience. You know, at the end of the day, we want our clients to be happy, right? That's sure. what we, that's what we you know we say that right. Our our job is to make people happy, right? Yeah. That's yeah. And so if the clients feel like they're cared for, if the clients feel like they're you know they that we understand about what their issues are, that we care about them, that we're working to try and help them solve their problems, that's what they want to hear. Well, we'll change the way we engage our clients to try to provide more value, right? right? We'll say, okay, you know, now that, and that usually comes along with some other aspect of, of the business, right? So we'll employ some new technology, ah. right? And that new technology is a change for us, right? So we have to figure out how we're using some of these new systems. You know, the, these platforms change, these things have to get better over time and they got to keep up with whatever's going on. And then with that change, usually, hopefully comes an opportunity to do things differently, and and sometimes different is good, and, and sometimes different is better, right? And we've we've done some things that we've tried to do with clients that that is a, to your point is a change from the way we did things before, and people didn't like it. Yeah, they're like, you know what? I I don't want to get the way that I don't like the way you do your billing now. Yeah. Your billing is different than before. I it was under it was clear to me. I understood what was going on. Now not so much. And so you know, and then we'll we'll talk about that in the office, and we'll say, look, you know, if if we're creating. A, a not better experience for people, H how would we want to change that? How do we do that differently? And and sometimes we're reacting to other, uh, to, to not, not so much competitors per se, but to other people in the industry because they're doing something different. How do they, pro how do they do things? How do, you know, everybody's taking all kinds of information in. And so, you know, we want to be able to, to, to compete in that space, if you will. And so we're, we're trying to figure out, well, what changes do we have to do on on our end to make us, as appealing to other potential prospective clients and current clients. Well, you have to, right? I mean, you have to be able to, you have to be able to understand kind of the landscape that's out there because, excuse me, there's a lot of lawyers. There's a lot of financial planners. There's a lot of people that do what we do. Well, we tell our clients, you have lots of choices. You have yeah. lots of choices of who you're going to work with. You're going to work with this financial firm. You're going to work with this legal firm. You're going to work with this law firm. You work with this. There's, all, there's no end to it. And so uh, how do you put it together? That, that's that's up to the clients. Yeah, and and again, it's all it's always this like this like kind of perpetual like you know quest to provide like as 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 good a client service as you can, right? Sure. And, and and to differentiate yourself from your competitors in such a way, in that you know if it, if it's based on client service, your client service is better. Here's why your 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 practice of law is better, and here's here's what separates us from our. Market. Here's why you would choose us versus choosing someone else. That's that's normal business. Yeah, well, our approach. This is how. To your point, this is how we do things. Yeah. Right. This is how. And and one of the things that we try to do, we have not been, uh, admittedly, not been great at it, is to try to tell people this is the best way, by the way, to work with the law firm. Yeah. Because we do things differently here than somebody else across town does. That somebody else in the city does. We have a different approach. We have a, everybody has a different. We have a different culture. And we do things a little bit differently. So here's the best way to fit in with our culture. And 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 there are people who say, look, you know what? That is not my vibe, right? Yeah. I, I, the, however you guys do things, that's you. That's a you thing, not a me thing. And it's just not the way I would want to do it. And you know what? You, you have to work with people you like with. That's what you want to do. And one of the things that why, why kind of being attuned to change or to be or to be kind of committed to kind of always making like being able to change, being like nimble enough and, and flexible enough to be able to change and to make updates is because in in this quest, and you, you mentioned it before, in this quest to always do better, you, you're not you, you're not always going to hit a home run, right? You're going to be like, oh, like so we're going to bring in this new technology. Use the example of this new technology, and people are like, ah, it's too tricky. It, it sounds good, but it, it's it's and, and you kind of you know once you put it in an application, like ah, it's not it's not going to work for us, right? right? Right. So, but this whole idea of kind of your organization, and this this applies to not just us, but to anybody, like any any kind of organization, whether it be a company or a nonprofit or a baseball team or whatever is if you're if you're welcome to change and you're welcome to kind of and you're, you're in the mindset that, oh yeah we're going to try this differently and you kind of you kind of get in that mindset then 
that's going to allow you to be able to, if, if things don't, if you make a mistake on one thing or if, if something doesn't work out the way you plan, that's okay because sure. we're in that, we're always looking to update. We're always looking, and, and you're, you know, the people in that organization, they, it, it keeps them on their toes, right? It right. keeps them from becoming complacent because, hey, there's going to be changes. There's going to be changes here. There's going to be change here. And we're always going to be updating. So they're kind of always in that, you know, kind of sitting on the, on the front edge of their seat as opposed to kicking back and be like, yep, this is how we always do it. And, right, there's, there's so many things that are going to be that you're going to that are going to be perpetual that you're going to do. There's so many things that you're you're oh, you're going to do the same as you've done before because they work, because they're easy, because they're cost effective. It's that but it's that idea of being able to kind of be in the be in the in the change mindset even if it's subtle changes, even if it's like we're going to change the table around. We're going to like we're going to repaint the office, you know, something yeah, we'll move like the, that. We're going to move the, we're going to we're going to refeng shui the whole office. We're yep. going to change the conference room, we're going to change this, we're going to change that. Just to keep you out of, not out of your comfort zone in a negative way, but to bring that, you know, I have to rethink things so I'm paying attention to them so I'm a little bit more dialed in. Yeah, it's funny. So uh, we're going to go to take a quick break, but we're going to talk about, um, so as I'm sitting here thinking about it, I'm like, Wow, Jay and I have been standing on this side. You know, we can you imagine if we can you imagine <laughs> if, if we flipped if we, it? We, yeah, if we did something actually differently, and we and Jay brought us out, and I brought us in, or yeah, don't no, stop. Like, stop. So, so, too much shade. Too so, much shade. so this is why. This is why we're going to be. This why this. That's why the, that's here. The okay. money, the law, and music is why I started taking music lessons so I could you know keep Change, up with baby. Mine. That's right. It's all about you. All right. So don't go anywhere. Uh, we'll be right back talking more about this. So uh, stay tuned and be on the edge of your seat. And if you're driving, no, no, two- sit in a different seat. We can talk about change. Moving to moving. If you're driving. Change. Stay on the drive on the same side of the road that you've been driving but, on. Whether yeah, you could if, change if like you're streaming like, change like you're in the UK. If you're one of the our, other side, if you're, yeah, if, no, don't don't do that. All right, don't go there. We'll be right back. And we're back. Money the law, my FM one hundred one point three. Jay Marsden with the Marsden Law Group. John Drohan, Main Effort Financial, talking about change. Talking about the the import of change. Making sure that it kind of keeps you. It's it's not a bad thing. Yeah, it's not a bad thing. Change is good. Change keeps you on your toes. Change keeps you fresh. Change gives you the opportunity to kind of look at things in a different world. I'm going to put you on the spot. What's one of the biggest things you think you've changed this year in 2023? Doesn't have to be good. Doesn't have to be bad. I'm not passing judgment. But what? Uh, what? I'll judge afterwards. Yeah. What? Uh, I'll, ju- what I I'll judge, judge privately. What? Yeah. What? Do you, what? Uh, what did you change this year that you thought was wildly so, different? So uh, right. So so I, I I have a couple of things. I mean, the big change for us was we moved. Right. That, yes. So, that so, was and that quite was that sizable. was in this year. Yep. That was in this year. Yep. So so our, our big change was was we moved, and really for no other reason than you know we woke up one day and we're like we've been here on this side of the street in 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 this office for 18 years yeah and we we're like wow that's that's a long time any way you look at it right yep. <laughs> yep. like anyway so you know so the fact that we had the opportunity to move that was a that was kind of a big deal for us sure and, it's a huge and, deal you know and and to my my two wonderful partners joanne o'connell and sharon doherty clancy we have been working together for 12 years now those guys i mean they're, they're I, I always call them like the oldest sisters i never had right yep. and they they they, they Liked, you know, they they liked our old office, right? Sure. They, and 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 I liked the old office. Yeah. yeah. But I, but when it was came, I was like, hey, listen, there's an opportunity for us to move. It's not that far. Your yeah. commute is actually a little bit shorter. Push which your is, push your chairs yeah, across the street. Liter- literally. And uh, they were like, whoa, wait a minute, why are we doing this? Things work now, things are good. And, um, you know, kind of in, in retrospect, like kind of go, going back, and now I think they're happy that we changed. Sure. And I think they are, they're happy that, they, and, you know, and, and it kind of gives you the opportunity to, you know, to kind of talk to your clients and say, hey, yeah. listen, we're moving. And so your clients feel like you're, you're not getting stagnant and stale. And I think that's sure. a, I think that, you know, although they do like continuity, they, they like the, they kind of like the same kind of feeling that they get from you yep. they also like the idea that you have to so that's that's one and and the other thing that you know the, and this is this is probably one of the big that we're doing this year is uh is our our portfolios change and our por- and not in a not in a in a strategic fashion, way right. no no not in a strategic way but just the the concept of kind of trying to simplify and trying to streamline our portfolio a little bit more than we have you know and again you know portfolio management kind of goes with Kind of which way the wind's blowing in the market sure. as well. Yeah. So because of kind of where the market sits right now, we've we've really tried to to focus on 
on, on the simplification of, of what we're trying to accomplish with each portfolio and try and do it with like as, as minimal moving parts as we can. So, sure. so, so that piece of it, and, and that, you know, that's not, that doesn't happen overnight. It's one of the, you know, there's, you know, quite a bit of research. There's quite a bit of like kind of time and effort that's, that's committed to that. But, you know, at the end of the day, it, it enables us to be able to look at and say, okay, Yep, I get it. This is this is where we, this is the purpose of this portfolio. Sure. This is the purpose of this of this model that we use. Um, how can we achieve this at a you know at a more streamlined cost? How can we achieve this at, at with uh, with less movement or with maybe less kind of like you know ancillary volatility volatility on either end? Um, so yeah, so that was that's our our big thing was, sure. was was kind of that portfolio change. And then with respect to taking care of clients, you know you know again with with the portfolio you know updates you know our 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 ability to kind of connect with clients you yep. know that's 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 a thing as well you know how we say oh, listen we we'd like to see you more often we'd like to talk to you more often you know kind of more than we you know than the kind of 3 to 4 times per year and sure and you know and again it all kind of comes back to everything is driven everything leads you know our ultimate purpose is to make our clients happy right yep. to make them yep. happy with and make them feel comfortable with their financial situation um and by having the ability to kind of manage things easier having they manage things a little bit with a little more streamlined it enables us to spend more time with the clients and it and enables us to kind of connect more with them and you know so most of them like it, you know. So there's, Not, yeah, some of them. Most of them. Some, most of them answer the phone. Yeah, that's right. Some of them will will in fact say, "Wow, that's that's you've called me twice. Why are you Why are you calling me so much?" And it's because I miss you. Because I want to sure, talk to yeah, you. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. How you doing? Like, yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, they all, they all. Yes. I mean, if they don't want to talk to me, they definitely want to talk to Joanna or Sharon. Uh, yeah. uh, right, <laughs> Inclu included right here. Yeah, yeah that's included right, right here. Yeah. Yeah. You, you yeah. included. Yeah, that's right, that's uh, no. right. That's I right. tell you what, I remember those days. I remember when Sharon used to be, I mean, she spent half the day over there. Oh, just, the right, helping yeah, out, helping uh, out. Help, she's, well, a good, she's a great person. Witness it, right? Yeah, witness, witness it, yes, witness as it as that's right. right that's doing right. an important a, 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 an important job. Making the magic happen. That's right, that's right. All right, so what about you? What's your 2023 change? What's a big change you guys have? I think the biggest change for us us is grow, growing the firm. The biggest change for us is probably personnel. We've right. added we've added some people. Um, we're adding some more. So those are those are big changes. You know, that's it's, a big it's, change. Yeah, yep. yeah. It's you know On you, all different levels, right? Well, that's right. And you and I have joked about it before. When you you know when you go from having a smaller team and you work with the team for a long time and everybody kind of knows where you know everybody's you know work style and all that other stuff, and then you start to bring in. Other people now you got you know you get some culture clash a little bit you get people that come in and do things a little bit different so you know that's that's probably been the biggest thing for us this year was to expand on uh, some personnel some hires and uh, and those hires are going to involve us doing business differently than we had done in the past sure. that's going to be a big change for us in terms of how we handle and approach uh, our client engagement those are the things that probably I'm the most sort of, uh, you know, you're always nervous for change, right? So sure. those are the things that I'm the most kind of anxious about that I'm watching about how we're going to handle things. And, but, you know, I think, it's, I think it will result in a better client experience, and I think it will result in, uh, in a better experience in terms of just working with lawyers in the firm and things like that. So those, those, were the big, those are the big changes for us. It's just about, you know, this, this next um, iteration, if you will, of, 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 of a transition to a firm or a more of a firm feel as opposed to your, you know, it's it's a solo shop, it's like right? A practice, is, right? That's a right. Practice that's right. Which is how I started yeah. out, right? So exactly. solo shop, chief cook and bottle washer, and now we're moving to what we believe is more of a firm culture. You're more of a. I, I, I always thought about that. You're more of a bottle emptier. I don't know how much. <laughs> I don't know how much washing happened after the bottle. You been, but you make sure. Right there, you, right? you, you, you make the You know what you thing. did is you. Yeah, you enabled the bottles to have that's right. to get washed. That's right. That's right? right. We need to wash these because they're empty. Chief yeah. cook and bottle yeah. emptier. That's probably the better way to say that. So yeah, so that's that's a big thing. So that means that I'm focusing my time on different things in the from changes. What I'm doing yeah, on a day-to-day -day basis, and that's a, and and right, and, and so so you change, right? So yeah. so kind of when you do these things, it kind of forces you to have to because right because like you said, there's going to be there's different there's a different management style, right? That's if right. I'm dealing with that's two right. people versus I'm dealing with five people, there's a different I have to play a different role, and and you're also going to kind of find things out on the way, right? You're going to say, okay, well, 
as we work, I, I'm, I'm recognizing that this person, uh, this new hire is really good at this, but not good at this. So maybe sure. maybe in our model, we say, you know, you know you're, you're responsible for A, B, and C, but maybe C, that's not, that's just not their wheelhouse, that's right? right? That's, that's not that's your not... superpower. Your superpower is D, E, F, and C superpower goes over here, and it's all about putting the right people on the bus and getting them in the right seats. Yeah, so so there's that change. So like re duties and responsibilities yeah. can can uh, can often change. And then and, and also like your you know the, like the, the the personal change of like where you're you know instinctively you're just gonna I, oh I got to take care of that oh I have to I I I am the one who has to talk to this client you know for whatever the reason is and maybe you're not maybe maybe this is something that you can delegate to somebody else you know now that your situation well, is Well, you talk about changes I mean that's a huge change right when you try to move from a from a sort of a, a, a hands-on do everything all the time to a situation where you got to delegate stuff and I'm a bad delegator because I'm the guy that thinks that I'm going to get it all done yeah. and then it doesn't get done and yeah. then people are unhappy and they say okay that's my mistake I should have delegated that so there's a lot of those discussions going on those types of changes and get to your point getting them right you know like okay if we're am I delegating the right job to the right person or are we delegating that the wrong job to the right person and how do we kind of figure all this stuff out again so that it's better for the clients that's what we're trying to make we're trying to always improve the client experience and so these changes you know we always you know we, we beg for forgiveness when we make a mistake and we say look you know we're just we're trying to do things a little bit better and, and we think that that's a good sign right you know we don't want it to we, don't, we, we want people to know that we're changing in an effort to be better it's growth it's, that's right yeah that's exactly. the idea it's, that's it's the growth idea. like it's not growth in like in necessarily in the size of, of the law firm but it's growth and growth in the practice and the and our ability to again what all, all, all the you know everything boils down to like all roads lead to your client better sure. your better client service and your better client experience one of the changes that I was wondering if you guys were going to do which I'm often fascinated with we did it we changed the building we changed the color of the building oh I was gonna say are you gonna put a big giant billboard on the side of the building and and somehow you know like uh, for your personal injury lawyers if I'm driving down 95 like in, <laughs> in, in the great state of Rhode Island you know and I, I mean it's one after the other and I I, I don't it, it must work like it absolutely positively that marketing I don't know must I must work I don't know if it works I mean we, we 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 do this analysis all the time I mean there's an ROI you want to change the way you're Advertising your practice. Well, I'm talking about for, I mean, but you guys aren't a personal injury. Firm. No, we're so, not. No, no, no. So, no, so make no, no. no mistake, Rich. Yeah, Jace. Yeah, it's not like you know you're injured. Call Jay. You know, <laughs> Jay. No, don't call me for that. Don't yeah. call me for that. Don't it's call not me like that. it's not like after you pain. get your settlement, you want to set your estate plan up. Call me. Call <laughs> me then. Pain, call me call then. Wayne. That's right. That's right. I mean, you know, and, and and as you know, I I have dabbled in this, and that I do own a, <laughs> I do own the the. The uh, the domain name of linebacker law. Yes. In the, in the thought process is that it's someday if I ever was affiliated or wanted to start a law firm, of course I would probably need to go to law school. But uh, the whole idea of having a billboard and all for, it's all for the sign. It's right? all for the sign. It's, it's all, all for, for the, the sign on, on 95 yes. right outside of, as I'm coming into Providence is a big a big picture of a guy in a suit, but he's got like the black under his eyes and yeah. he's out, and a number on his suit. Sure. And he's a linebacker, but he's also a lawyer, right? Of you know, he is. Have, yeah. yeah. Have you been injured in? an accident linebacker who are you yeah. going to call line who's blitzing yep. on your oh it's, yeah. it's all day jay and i have talked about this I've, I've approached him on this he's still he's still thinking about me although i did recently i i think i do have an email where you said i do kind of wish we went into business together this could be your opportunity <laughs> this could be my opportunity this, this could be your window okay of so what changes would you not in a negative way what changes would you like to see your clients embrace more um, what changes would I like to see my clients embrace? Again, more? not in a negative way, but just one of those things like, you know, king for a day. What if I, if you could, you know, this is this feeds right into the whole tenor of the show, which is you're standing around and you're talking to people and somebody goes, hey, John, if there's one thing that I could change as a potential prospective client for you, this is what I'm doing right now. What would you tell me? What would be my one change item? Well, I, I think 
you know, some of the best experiences that we have with clients is that is when they're engaged, right? And, yes. and, and you know, there's, like, there's plenty of people that are like, listen, I, that's what I pay you for. You know, you take care of all that, you know, I, so I don't want to worry about it. And, and in many respects, that's true in that, you know, our job is to kind of provide peace of mind, as is yours, to provide peace of mind of, like, stuff that, that you may not be, you know, as versed in or as educated in as, as the professional is, right? So that's normal. But what I do like... And what I've always liked is when the clients are engaged and the yep. clients and the clients have questions and the clients want to understand kind of the kind of the whole reason of why we're doing or why we're recommending something of what we do. Um, and 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 part of that is the technology piece. Right. So, you know, we often have clients that are like, ah, they kind of fight the technology piece, you know, kind of, our, you know, of our, our website and the, you know, the ability to kind of log on. So I, I like, you know, if, if there's anything I'd like for the clients to engage in that. Right. Yep. I'd like to. And we have a proprietary, you know, stuff that we use where it allows them to kind of put all of their. It allows them to manage all of their, you know, see all of their accounts in one place. Sure. So that's so that's fun, and that and it's easy for, and then and then they kind of can see kind of where, you know, when they're like, oh, my my portfolio is not doing as good as this one, and you're like, well, there's a reason why, and there's right. you know, there there are two different things. There's two, you know, it's like comparing an apple and an orange. So. So I like to see that. I like you know, that's always, that's better when clients are engaged and kinds and 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 I do. I encourage them like ask questions. Ask me questions like yeah like why am I doing this? Why does what is what's the purpose? Why did we sell this versus buying this? Right. And, right. And right. that's and that's that makes for a better experience because then they kind of understand. They get more. They they understand kind of your thought process. And sure. That, and and then that makes for you know again it all comes back to the client experience and the clients want to be able to they're they're trusting you with their financial plan. And your case they're trusting you with my you know this is i've worked all of this for my whole entire life right, right. and i want this to get passed on to my heirs i want this to get i want i don't want to i don't want to squander my estate i don't want to i don't you know i want to be able to li- retire but at the same time if i can i'd like to you know pass something on to my children and my grandchildren nice. so interesting well what's interesting about it is <laughs> that we would say the same exact thing yeah i mean again two completely different practice areas to, you know, yes, we've talked about how over the years they they are inexplicably intertwined, and I sure. get that. But from what you just said, I, I would say the same thing. I, I We always try to put content out there. We're always trying to put some marketing information out there. We just dropped our most recent newsletter. You know, we're trying to kind of get these things out there. And and I would say the same thing. If I if I if I could, uh, you know, if I could encourage anybody to do that, I would encourage them to. Uh, take advantage, engage in the content and the information that that we provide out there. Not because I'm expecting them to have all the questions, right? Just like for you, I'm not expecting the clients to know why the trades are the way they're made, why the sale of Security X in exchange for Security Y is happening, but to understand the thirty thousand foot piece of that puzzle. Because when and and and, and if that means engaging us you know, sooner rather than later when things come up that that you think need our assistance, then please, absolutely. How many times have we said, said, like, kind of, you know, let's, let's, let's review the estate plan while things are good. Let's yeah. review the estate plan when we got while we have time. Yeah. Let's review the estate plan while when you know what we can we can discuss possible options and possible updates and changes. But at, but we're not in a we're not on a timeline. We're not on a time crunch to be able to no have no. To do there's it. there's plenty of time. Don't the, the you know if you wait until the absolute last minute and the the build, the burning is building. The, the, the is building, building is burning. The burning. I, there's, there's, building. Le- there's less that I can do for somebody at that point, right? Yeah. And, and, and so, you know, same thing, right? You have John, less John, in your John I'm retiring tomorrow. I just need to make sure everything's okay, which is different than, you know, I'm worried about protecting some assets. I'm worried about my kids having to deal with a mess of an administration scenario. So, if you're gonna if you're gonna change anything. Change the way you engage, and we've talked about this in the show before. Change the way you engage with the professionals in your life, right? Like let them let them use what they like to yeah. do to make your life easier, right? Yep. You know, you don't you don't need to know all the information about all the portfolios. You need to know a person who knows the information to make things easier on you for a whole host of reasons, right? right? I had two experiences today that were that kind of feed into this 
into this scenario. So one of them is you drove, talking, you drove in with a jeep. Well, we'll talk, <laughs> but, we'll talk, but so the two things. So we're making some changes at the office, right? And we need to change the way we staff the office um, from a personnel perspective. And then we need to change the way we do our production, our legal production in the office. And we we're having a problem with some part of our legal production. It's just a machine. It's no big deal. But I just needed to call somebody and say, look, I don't need to. I don't need all this. Don't mm. don't don't give me ten things to choose from. Okay, sure. I'm I'm not in the business of this. You are. I trust you. I need to change this to make my office run more efficiently. Can you just tell me what to do? Great. Here's what you can do. Fantastic. Problem solved. Right. Same thing. Try to have a I was having a car problem. I talked to somebody I knew who I trusted. They said, you know what? You have a problem right this second. You can live with it. You yeah. can live with it. Fix it next week. Ur um, urgency gone. Yeah. Emergency ended, right? The whole the whole week changed just based on two conversations with people who know what they're doing. All right. And, the, and it's funny because your week, it, it, the reason your week changes is because it's just going to enable you to get to a destination that you want to go well, to. Well, no, it's not even that. It's just to, it's to be able to, it's to, it's to know that people are safe and people can do what they got to exactly. do. And to, you know, I mean, exactly. yes, but, but, but the point is, you know, 10 years ago, you would say, well, I, I, I need to spend the whole weekend figuring out figure this out. thing. Yeah, I got to figure this thing out. I got to solve this problem myself, right? And, and, and right. And, and, and it's going to, there's limited, there's limited options for me to get help right. to solve said right. problem. Or you can change who you are as an individual and say, you know what? I don't need to do that anymore. I'm just going to find the person to tell me how to figure this out. That's the answer. So, so the, the notion of change is not just, it's, it's not just the execution. It's changing the way you approach it. And as, and as a client, call us. Yeah. Let, let's, if you need to change something, We'll talk about it. But if something's bothering you and you're concerned about it, then let's solve the problem because there may be no problem. Yeah. And we can fix your, you can put your anxiety to end to, to bed right then and there. So, so the moral of today's show is, is you want to, don't be afraid to change. Don't be afraid to, to make changes. Don't be afraid to make updates in anything, in, in, in your business, in your personal life, in your in the way you the way you approach your management of your yeah. of your of your portfolios or your or your finances, I mean, even in even if in organizations that you're involved in, right? I was going to say, I mean, we, we're kind of running out of time, but like, so in your time on the select board, right? I mean, how many how many updates, how many changes did you oh, guys have to do? Change. Like, constant change, constant change, right? There's turnover of people. There's 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 you know one issue after another, and there and how you know maybe this year this particular issue is concerned about this, and then you know before you know it, there's there's another there's another event, there's another. Part of another that, problem. Another that, stuff, that something that else needs up. to be solved. Yep. Yep. I yeah. agree. I agree. Um, or even like in nonprofits, like even in in organizations that like you know or, or teams that are involved. Like so, I, I'm I'm looking at Tom right and and Holliston Cable Access TV is a great example. So HCAT, you know, we're we we made the we made the decision that it's time for us to change. It's time for us to evolve sure. from you know. And again, nothing against cable TV, right? Everybody, yep. loved, we all grew up with it, but cable TV. It's not like it used to be, nope. right? There's, things are different with cable TV. So now we have all the online streams, so all of that. So, you know, H. Howells and cable access TV, it's it's kind of an antiquated yeah. concept, yeah. right? It's kind of, an, and and so the idea of HCAT, you know, and, and now changing their, and, but kind of this rebranding of where instead of just, just being cable access TV, they're a multimedia, you know, a venue where, where anything you want to know about Holliston, anything that you, you know, if you want to, you know, really put your fingers on the pulse of Holliston, you're going to find it at, at the Holliston Hub or, Holl or HCAT. Well, you hit the nail. Changes, changes evolve. Yeah. That's it. It's yeah. not change for change's sake. It's not change for it's a negative. Evolution. It's, it's growing. It's yeah. growing. All right, so, so, so this is what we'll, we'll, we'll leave, we'll leave with, with this, this. Go ahead. is that how, what do we need to do? What are the changes that we need to make? And I know one of them. Oh it's going to be music. All right. It's going to be music. That so music. you know what I'm going to change right now? I'm going to change this G. Sorry about that. Hold yep. on. I'm going to change this G to a D. You hear uh, that? That's, that's a course. real D. The times, change, the times change, are changing. Times are changing. So, yeah, money in the law, music, money in the law. Maybe maybe we'll switch spots. Who knows? Crazy. I mean, we talk it's we madness. talk a good game, but if you and I switch spots, you and I would be like, ah, We wouldn't know what to do. We'd pump into each other. <laughs> All right, keep an eye on that. That could be changed. Maybe we'll change where we do the show from. Oh, I like that. Right to Oasis. Yeah, I like Right to Oasis. Maybe, maybe in the summertime, if we really got organized, we could, and we're saying this on the air, we're kind of putting ourselves on the spot. Why don't we make some changes and do some, like, on location? Right, once a month. 
June starts tomorrow. Once a month, we'll do, we'll do a show from someplace June else. Start, here, uh, June's actually started as you're listening. Tomorrow. This, but June, tomorrow. Yeah, that's yep. right. All, right. All right. Stay tuned. We'll see everybody next week. Uh, like, Don't be afraid to change if you want to reach us. Remember, MondayInTheLaw.net. You can reach us at any time. Uh, on behalf of Holliston Cable Access TV, HCAT, Holliston Hub, Tom Harmon. Jay Mars. Ch-ch-ch-changes. Yeah, I know your name. Ch-ch-changes. Yep, let's go. The great David Bowie. All right, we'll All see right, everybody. Guys, have we'll a great week. We'll see everybody next week. See ya. <laughs>